one thing that I was talking about with uh, in my group here was the idea there's there's various problems with the concept of taking a muscle from a shortened position, taking contact and lengthening it. There's various uh, connective tissue issues. It doesn't really follow how cells and how fibroblasts respond to tension, all of which we discuss in, 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 in functional range release. However, in terms of assessment, it's also a problem because if we're taking the tissue and we're using our tissue tension technique to find the exact angle of where uh, aberrant tissue tension would be. Let's say that I'm going in this position and I feel aberrant tissue tension right underneath this portion of my finger. Okay. With FR, the concept is that whatever I palpated the tissue with, that's what I'm going to use to start treatment. Why? Because if I go ahead and I say this is the exact angle where I feel that aberrant tissue tension, that tissue tension might not be present here or here or at a different angle from what where you palpated it at. So if you go ahead and close that tissue down and then go to treat it again, by the time you close it down and go back into it, you most likely would have changed or altered the exact angle at which you actually found the tissue tension to begin with. Therefore, wherever you felt the aberrant tension, let's say that you felt aberrant tension, you're good at feeling aberrant tension, you might go ahead and do four or five passes that never hit that tension. And then you might recheck and it might feel fine to you. But that particular line of tension might still be present and you would have missed it because you keep closing the angle down. So in FR release, we talk a lot about finding your line of tension. Once you find it, we back away very slightly. Then we take our specific contact that we use, which is different than just taking a contact, because in which case you're just skin wedging the person. And once that contact's there, when you go back and start to motion again, if you don't feel the buildup of that tension under your finger as you're treating, then you've lost that line. You've got to go back into tissue tensioning and you've got to find the line again. So it really takes a long time to get out of the concept of shorten tissue, take a contact, lengthen tissue. Shorten tissue, take a contact, lengthen tissue. Because that's very good for being very, very general and non-specific. But if you want to be very specific, you cannot be doing these broad ranges of motion and moving people around because you're not going to be treating what you've actually assessed and that's problematic. Similarly, if you're using a protocol type method, the way to treat uh, anter anterior delt is to go from here to here. That's problematic for obvious reasons because the connective tissue continuum doesn't understand the lines of the muscle or in other words, it follows some of, some of the connective tissue follows the muscle lines but other parts of it do not. So if all you do to treat whatever anterior delta is from here to here, you're missing aberrant tissue tension in this direction, this direction, this direction, and any other area where you might otherwise not have treated unless you palpated aberrant tissue motion. Does that make sense? So it's time to, to stop with the general, you know, I'm treating anterior delt, and it's time to start saying, I'm treating a particular line of connective tissue fibrosis which is which is causing an aberrant force in the direction contrasting this particular motion thereby I'm defining it as abnormal and therefore I'm going to treat it. There's a big difference. It's like you're taking a, a broad view and you're now you're using a microscope in order to make your skills better and more specific. <coughs>